for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff up the Mad Cheese has always got another run play scheme for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over one of the glitchiest formations, maybe in Madden history, because every year I put out a video from this run formation, uh, going back to when my channel started, probably like Madden 16 or 17, uh, when I started doing this, it was it was one of the best running formations back then as well. And one of the best things about it is it's in pretty much every single playbook. I'm using the Raiders because I just put out a Raiders ebook and I'm trying to promote it with content. Uh, but And to me, it's one of the better ones because it has some of the better plays. But I also like the like Saints used to have a really good power over version that the Raiders don't have. Uh, but the Raiders do have some really good ones that aren't in a lot of playbooks so without a doubt if you guys want to see more from this formation or more from the Raiders hit the like button let me know in the comments section the formation is the wing pair one of the things that makes it so overpowered is the three tight end set it literally controls the defense which I'll show you guys uh, some tricks to that once I get into the uh, actual practice mode but the run plays itself I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them all in my audibles the halfback inside zone is already there the second play would definitely be the uh, the wide receiver stretch even though it's not as good as the traditional stretch play and then the the last play would be the Owen trap which is probably my favorite so we have three run plays in there the fourth play that I'm going to show will definitely be the PA experts cross I will have more plays on my patreon and more plays on my join out community tab uh, all that stuff and the ebook links in the description below if you guys want to check that out but let's go ahead and let's start off with the halfback inside zone on the defensive side most people are running nickel packages which I think would just be too easy so we're gonna go random 4-3 now before I get into the video as always this video is brought to my coin sponsors at AODAH.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and help support the channel all at the same time all you have to do is get your coins there link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off now as far as the uh, the run plays go they're all about the reads uh you know the stretch is always going to be best against cover three the halfback inside zone is probably the best run play and then the the one trap is probably best uh, when you have like a muddled look like this. So if I see a gap in the direction of the inside zone, this is the easiest one, I will just take it. And you can see right there, the blocking is really what makes this play so good. The left guard typically is like the fullback. They typically double the point of attack to create that hole. And then they typically pass off really well and become a lead blocker. Now there, he didn't quite get that block. A lot of times they'll seal that, but it basically blew him up enough that I could run right past him. Now this play, like I was saying, you can control your defensive alignment simply by motioning out this uh, this tight end here. You can see the the, the, the alignment is forced to, towards the three tight end set. It's such an overpowered formation that every defense will start off aligned differently based off of that fact. So you can use that to your advantage. Like if you have a cover three, like this looks like it's probably a cover three, I can go ahead and switch to that stretch wide receiver screen and I can make those guys go further away from the area that I'm going simply by motioning this guy out. If I leave him in, I mean, there's different advantages to be had. If I leave him in, I have a double team block on that outside linebacker a lot of times, but you can see, I mean, there's it's, it's up to me. That's the point. It shouldn't be up to me, but it is. So like I said, based on the fact that most defensive alignments are shifting in the direction of the three tight ends forcibly, I can just basically go the other way with the halfback inside zone and that's a really good play too by the way as you can see that left guard just completely wiped i think it was a linebacker out of a play we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go the other way and then we're gonna create spacing by shifting this guy out Typically, that B uh, or that uh, tight end should blow somebody up too. Is right there. He just let the cornerback run right around him. That's a patch. That right there, what happened? That's something that is a result of me putting this out several years ago. Basically, I used to do this all the time, and these tight ends would just level these cornerbacks to the point where now they don't seem to block anybody when you motion them out. As you can see there, he finally gets on somebody, and I get about 10 yards. But you can run this any number of ways and have success. And that doesn't even really include my favorite play, which is probably the 0-1 trap. I haven't even gotten that yet but let's go ahead let's run this like this one more time like i said we have strong or we have a safety in the box on the left side we're just going to go ahead we're going to motion this guy out we don't really have to but we can do that or you know just run it as is and like i say you're basically just sprinting to the sidelines you can have a really big play against pretty much cover three cover four that's going to be when it's best to run that but if you have a, a widely spaced look like on the inside here, like this is a pretty wide gapped look. If I want to run inside, I just have to switch over to the old one trap. And you're going to see here where I'm going to have a lot of success uh, running this right up the gut, just as long as these, you know, these 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 guys just basically, Owen traps are always really good. You can see right there, get well over 10 yards on that play. 
What really makes this scheme work well is the fact that you can mix in these three run plays. The halfback inside zone is really a good inside run, but it's also a really good run to the outside to the left. The stretch wide receiver screen is a really good play against cover three, cover four, but it's also a really good run to the right. And then the 0-1 trap is best anytime you see, uh, if somebody tries to really spread the alignment to stop the outside runs going in both directions, you're going to have a lot of holes in the middle, and this is going to really widen those holes. So the only thing I don't like is you have to wait for them to cross. That's the only thing, but you can see, look at the size of that hole. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, I just walked forward for 10 to 12 yards. I didn't really go over the receiver screen yet, uh, which is also a really good play, although typically um, it's the secondary read, which you can see right there. The tackle does a really good job of getting down the field and blocking the cornerback. Both the run and the pass look like they would work on a play like this. So this is the thing about this play is you really have opportunity for all the plays to work they're all very hard to stop now the pass play the pa experts cross is another play that works against just about anything i would say the best way to run it is just put the b route on a drag but you can keep him on a streak just to pull back coverage and you can put the rb route on a drag uh, this is something where because of the play action your opponent's typically going to chase this they're going to be you know concerned with all the uh all the you know the run plays more than anything this is a run heavy focused scheme so that's going to just make them bite and then you can take these crossers which is really one of the easier things to do. So here we go, cover three once again. Like I said, I could do any number of things here. Like I said, that lineman, if he gets on that cornerback, I mean, if I had a much bigger speed advantage, I might be gone on a play like this. That's how easy it is. We'll try to force the PA experts cross a little bit because we already showed the run plays enough. But, you know, the B route isn't really necessary. You can just leave him the block ultimately. I don't really think that's important at all. But you're just, if it's a zone coverage, you're just reading this front to back. And the furthest route here typically will be open just about every time. But if the running back's there in the flat, you want to take the flat, take the flat. Go okay, and we'll do that again. I said that's, you know, you don't really have to, you can give yourself an additional blocker, although I don't find it really helps. But ultimately, the drag and the crosser will be open against man all the time. And the running back here, like I said, there he's taking the flat. I probably should have waited, took the deeper route. But sometimes I'll take that. I'll just try to get as much of a catch and run as possible. Let's go and let's do that again. Like I said, right here we have that inside zone lane. So I'll take that. It's a really easy system to read. If you see a hole for that guy, I mean, that's the primary play. This play is also really glitchy against cover four quarters. So let's go and let's pick that. Don't really have to do anything. This X route here just gets over the top of it. Just as long as, I mean, obviously I got Henry Ruggs running it, you're gonna need a little bit of speed, but for whatever reason, it really beats that coverage very easily. And I don't have to make any adjustments either. I'll still do my RB route, just to give myself that additional, um, you know, receiver. But like I said, you can see this is just a really, it's just a really good route when it comes to cover four quarters, is we're basically just beating it up. I mean, you're gonna need some speed. Now it's a very good play against cover one man as well, and that's the sluggo spacing. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, I mean, man zero, man cover one, they're all the same. We'll go ahead and pick Overstone Brave. Against man cover one or man zero, which is what I have here. I mean, I could block as many people as I want. I probably want to give myself a check down of like a drag, but ultimately it's going to be drag or home run. So it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to choose uh, the home run nine times out of ten anyway if I'm calling a play like this. And you can see the sluggos just get really easily behind uh, cover one man's. Against cover zero like this, don't smart route it. Against cover one man, I find that you can smart route it and have more success. Let's go and let's do that again. Like I said, there, he really roasted him on that one. He really caught him on that one. He, <laughs> so sometimes, some are easier than others. As you can see, I'll go to the replay to show the difference there. Because he really got caught off guard on this one. As you can see, like he just really just whiffed. And I'm just uh, 20, not even 20 yards down the field, and I can lob it up for an easy one play touchdown. As you can see, I'm already throwing it. It's not even 20 yards. So, very easy play. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more, because I have more plays, it'll be on my Patreon, it'll be on my Join Now Community tab. It's all on my ebook. Check that out, link in the description below. But if you guys want to see that on YouTube, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.